Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 remote 19R by Coachman RV. We're going to take a few minutes here, walk you through the inside and outside of this little RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. This thing comes in about a little under 22 feet long and around 3,400 pounds dry. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 remote 19R travel trailer. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, this is a front bedroom, a rear bathroom, couple style coach. We're going to actually get started up here in the front, and then we'll kind of work our way to the back. So first things up, you have a large windshield here overlooking the front side of the RV. You have a window on each side of the bed. Both of those windows do open and again have nightshades on those as well. Up above the bed here you're going to have a large overhead shelf space. And then over on each side of the bed you're going to have hanging closet. It's pretty deep actually on the lower section there as well, so you can maybe set some stuff in there that you might need. Has magnetic catches for door holders. Down here you're going to have electric outlet and USB charger port. Now laying on the bed there is a portable table, so you could take that outside if you want to, or set it up in front of the sofa area here and maybe eat or do some work or something. The bed also raises up, so there is storage underneath of there as well. Room on both sides of the bed to kind of maneuver around. Now looking over on this side here, the door side of the RV, you're going to have your kitchen area. So you have some overhead cabinet space there, pretty decent amount for a small RV. You have a big window, again, overlooking that campsite area. That window also opens. You're going to have the two burner gas stove top here with the flip up and down glass lid. So this just pops up, kind of acts as a backsplash when you are having to cook in here. Flip that down to give you a little more counter space when you're not cooking. Down here, you're going to also have a little microwave area right here. Propane furnace as well. And you also have some storage below your sink area and a couple drawers as well. High rise faucet. Matching sink cover. Little undermount sink area. And then another really nice feature that's on the RV is the tire pressure monitoring system here. This is a very nice safety feature to let you know what's going on with your tires while you're traveling down the road. Now over here on this side, you're going to have a small slide out. So basically that sofa there slid out probably, I'd say around 18 or 20 inches or something like that. Now this sofa will flip down and make it to a small bed if you have an extra grandchild or guest with you or something. And that sofa also has flip out footrest as well. Looking up at the ceiling area here, we have a large turbo exhaust fan. So that right there on a good fall day, open up your windows and it'll really flow the air through here, bringing you in some fresh air. But that can also be used, you know, to maybe vent out any uh, smoke or anything that might happen when you are cooking as well. You have a 13,500 BTU AC system right there by GE. Down here on the side, you're going to have your, there's another electric outlet, propane leak detector, and the electric box with the breakers and fuses. Then you're going to have a double door fridge here by Magic Chef. So you have the freezer on top. Has a little travel latch right here. 
And then you have the refrigerator on bottom. And then just up above that, you have more storage. Over here, you got your entryway. There's a little, uh, little cubby thing here, electric outlet down there. There is a little Bluetooth portable speaker. You got a light switch for the front cap lights, I believe that's for. Um, or maybe that's for, oh, that's the awning light switch. Uh, slide out button here to run your slide in and out. We'll show you that at the end, what that looks like. And then you got your awning in and out button as well. There is a light switch down here for a little light that's by the step area. You'll see that when we get back outside. And you also have your propane furnace control right there. Now back here, you're going to have a pretty decent sized bathroom actually for a small RV. Up top, you have a little vent fan up there. There's a skylight up above, ABS tub surround, but basically a step-in shower with a pull-across curtain set up. You have a foot flush toilet here, a window there that will open, and then over here you're going to have medicine cabinet area, pretty decent size actually, a little shelf space there as well, pretty decent amount of counter space, a little storage hole there, and also some more storage underneath of here as well. Here on the side, you're going to have your gas and electric water heater controls. It's a six gallon gas electric quick recovery. You have your monitor panel for your holding tanks, water pump. Here is a switch for the 12 volt heated holding tank pads. So you have heat pads on all your holding tanks for that colder weather camping. But overall, a very nice, small, lightweight style couples coach here. Now we're going to step back outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV real quick. Then we're going to come back in and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 remote 19R by Coachman RV here. We're going to start here on the door side and we'll kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to an upgraded Asdale composite material instead of the cheaper wood Luan backer. So it is much less likely to have delamination and rot type of issues as there is no wood structure in the wall. It's aluminum tube, foam block insulated with double Asdale and an outer fiberglass shell. Very, very nice construction for an ultralight style camper like this. You have some vinyl graphics on the outside as well. And they also have these kind of cool oval shaped windows that are the frameless look window instead of your traditional square looking windows. You have a pretty good size power awning here with an LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. We have a pretty good size pass through storage area right here. Now this is the Suburban Griddle that uh, goes out here on the little table I got set up. There is the charge controller for the 200 watt solar panel that's on the roof. There's USB charger port right here. There's a 12 volt outlet right here, a light in here. And there is also uh, a light switch for the front cap lights. Baggage door here held up by magnetic holder instead of a plastic clip. Again, the little table right there, that's where you set up the griddle if you want to cook outside. You have a gas line hookup down there with that little white tags hanging down. You have your furnace exhaust right here. There is an electric outlet right there. You have kind of off-road tires here. These are Goodyear Wrangler tires, aluminum wheels, drum brakes. Also, again, has that tire pressure monitoring system on it as well. Over here, you're gonna have the heavy duty trail air step that's rated for 400 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet, flips up inside the doorway when you are traveling down the road. The little light switch that's right there at the entry door area, 
turns on this little light right here, kind of nice, just right there around your step area to kind of brighten it up. You have hot and cold low point water drains down here. You also have four heavy duty scissor jacks to stabilize it. So a jack basically on each corner. On around to the back side here, you're gonna have the traditional four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people store their dump hose in there. Uh, some people even put bike racks on them, but this one is gonna have that cool little bike rack on the front also. It is prepped in the top right corner there for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. Very nice telescoping ladder you can buy, put it in a storage compartment when you're not using it so you don't have to worry about anybody's kids climbing up and down, falling off and getting hurt or anything. Uh, you also have prepping in the top center right there for the Furion rear observation camera. That right there is a very nice safety feature. I would wish they would put standard on all RVs, but they haven't done it yet. It allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road and also backing into a campsite area as well. In the lower right corner there is your six gallon gas and electric water heater. It's a quick recovery setup. Now real quick, we're gonna pop up a picture of the roof here so you can kind of see this. You can see up top there, you got your 13.5 BTU air conditioner, your 200 watt solar panel, skylight, some plumbing stack vents and stuff up there. So it is very important to get up here on your roof and stuff from time to time and inspect your seams and your seals and all that type of stuff and make sure that no water is gonna be able to get into your camper, very important. Now it does have gutters that run down both sides with the longer gutter extensions to kind of help push that water away. They even put an extra little gutter up above your slide out right there as well, along with your typical rubber ball seals and stuff. And then you got, again, Schwentec slide system you seen when we were inside. Um, you're gonna also see that close up here shortly as well. Down here you have your gray and black tank dumps. You have the black tank flush right here, your city water inlet right here as well, the detachable 30 amp power cord stretched all the way over there. That's probably about a 30 foot cord or so. And then you have a hot and cold outside utility shower right here too. But a very new cool lineup. This is brand new for the 2024 Coachman brand. Uh, this remote. It's kind of similar to their Nano model that they do by Apex, but with a little more twist to it. Down below right there, you're going to have the uh, drain valve for your portable fresh water tank. It's a nicer inch and a half gate valve, so it will dump out faster. You have your gravity fill fresh water inlet right here. The other side of your pass-through storage compartment area right there. Again, magnetic holder on your baggage door. And we got some real important informational stuff right here. So this one right here, the production date sticker, tells me this RV was built 423 of 24, model number 19R. It has a gross vehicle weight. This is axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed this number, 4,700 pounds, gross vehicle weight. This one right here tells me the RV, when it rolled off the assembly line with all these options, was 3,406 pounds. Exterior length, 21 feet, 8 inches. Tire size here, it tells me they are LT22575R16 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. And again, they have that tire pressure monitoring system to help you do that. Onto the front side here, you have a really nice fiberglass front cap. This is a little more heavy duty than the traditional flat roll fiberglass you find on some lesser products. Has that nice big oval window in there, the little green LED glow lights as well. And you have a lower metal plating down below. Down here, there is a battery disconnect right there and also the repeater for the tire pressure monitor. You have wiring here for a battery. Looks like there's probably room for one, maybe two batteries if they're the smaller size, but it really kind of depends on your battery that you go with. Um, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator, the bottle cover there. It is a two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, 
standard breakaway cable as well. Manual tongue jack, you could possibly upgrade that to a power jack aftermarket if you want to though. Uh, but this thing's pretty light and easy to crank up and down. And then you also have that pretty cool jacket bike rack hitch as well. So you could put a couple bikes on here if you're the adventurer type and want to get out and ride around. That's a pretty cool setup. All right, now we are going to head back inside. I want to show you what this thing looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're now back up inside the brand new 2024 remote 19R here. And I just wanted to show you real quick what this thing looks like closed up for you. So when you are ready to close it up, you just have to come right back in here to your slide button. This is a 12 volt powered slide. So as long as you have a good battery, you should be able to run this thing in and out. Pretty simple. So you push the button here and it's pretty much gonna come straight in and go straight out. Pretty simple. This is currently using the Schwentec slide system. But you can see here with the slide closed, I can still come in and pretty much use everything. The only thing that's kind of inconvenient is getting to that side of the bed. Other than that, you know, I can come in and out of here Throw my clothes in here, get to my bed area underneath. I could nap in here at a rest area if I had to stop somewhere. Come in, use the bathroom. I can cook, load my fridge at a grocery store. So you practically have full access. So that's important to think about when traveling. You know, if that slide were to accidentally break, hopefully it never does. But if it did, you know, I could still use this. Wouldn't be as fun and, you know, convenient, but... I can still use it without it ruining my entire trip wherever I might be going. And then when you are ready to take it back out, same thing. We're going to hit the button and go right on back out. Now, thanks a bunch, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Greatly appreciate it. Please remember to smash that like button if you're interested in keeping up with my RV videos. And as always, folks, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet dealers in the country. They were actually the number one selling towable RV dealer for 2023. They should be able to save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.